Marcus is a lucky game show winner. He can choose one of three prizes. A brand new Mercedes, an expensive laptop, or a designer wallet. What do you think is the best choice? Comment below. Look at this Mercedes. The logo is crooked. The car must be fake. The same goes for the wallet. This logo is supposed to be written in a different way. That's what the real logo looks like. But the laptop seems to be okay. The logo is correct. So, Marcus should probably opt for this device. On a rainy evening, Megan came home and found that someone had eaten her chocolate bar. She asked her sisters whether one of them had done it. Maria said she'd been working out in her room and hadn't left it the whole day. Amelia said she would never eat someone else's chocolate. And Emma answered that she'd been outside, watering plants in the garden. She'd just come home herself. Help Megan find out the truth and share your ideas in the comments. It must be Emma. Why would she need to water plants outside if it's raining? Kayla was staying at a hotel in Paris. One day, someone broke into her room and took all her expensive stuff. The police had three suspects. Alan said that he had been trying to pour himself some coffee downstairs, but with his arm in a sling, it had been extremely tricky. Marie told the police that she had been at the reception trying to solve some issues with her shower, and Bruce said that he had been sleeping. Help the detectives figure out who's guilty and leave them a message in the comments. Alan broke into Kayla's room. Look at his cast. He's wearing it over his sweater. It must be fake. Detective Morton has received wedding pictures of two newlywed couples from a client. He knows that both couples got married on the same beach in the Maldives. It's famous for its beautiful sunsets. But one of these couples is indeed very rich, while the other is broke. For some unfathomable reason, the detective client wants to know which couple has money. If you figure it out faster than Morton and write your answer in the comments, the detective will probably have to give you his badge. The guys on the right are wearing very simple wedding suits, but they're indeed celebrating their wedding on the beach. But if you take a closer look at the couple on the left, you'll soon realize the lighting on their fancy clothes and faces doesn't match the background. Plus, you can spot a few green screen fragments at the edges of the picture. Their photo isn't real. They can't afford to go to the Maldives in real life. They're broke. <laughs> Mark found himself in the middle of a forest with three paths in front of him. The first one was covered with burning hot coals. The second path was so cold that it felt like Antarctica under his feet. And the third path was covered with sharp nails that were able to pierce any footwear. Tell Mark in the comments which path he should choose. The guy should pick the third path. All that ice is bound to be gone soon since it's too close to hot coals. Adam was driving home late at night when he noticed he was about to run out of gas. He stopped at a gas station to fill his gas tank and buy some snacks. Inside, there was a cashier and another customer dressed in black. When Adam came up to the employee to pay, she told him $505. Adam paid, went outside, and called the police to report an emergency. If you have any idea why he did so, comment below. You probably noticed that the cash register actually showed $18.35, but the cashier said $505, which looks like SOS. Detective Brown rushed to an expensive restaurant. Someone had stolen a gold spoon there. If the detective didn't find the real culprit, the waiter would have big problems. Luckily, there were still a lot of people in the restaurant, and Detective Brown questioned the main suspects. A group of friends said they were celebrating a birthday. 
They wouldn't spoil their party this way. A cheerful man said he'd been walking in the area and had dropped by to check out this place. And a miserable-looking guy answered that his wife had left him and he had come to the restaurant to take his mind off his problems. You must help the detective to find the criminal. When you do, write your answer in the comments faster than the others. The second man lied. He'd said he'd been to the restaurant for the first time. But look, he's wearing a hat with the restaurant's logo. Gotcha! Adam's car broke down right in the middle of a deserted forest road. But the worst thing was that it was winter, snowdrifts were huge, and the wind was freezing cold. Adam had to get to the nearest town, and fast. But if he followed the first path, he'd have to deal with hungry wolves. The second road went through the area inhabited by bears, and if he took the third path, he'd have to cross a river covered with thin ice. You need to help the guy as fast as possible and tell him what road he should opt for in the comments. Adam should sneak through the bear's territory. These animals usually sleep in the winter. Liza was a millionaire's daughter. She was fed up with her father trying to control her life. After he told her one day he'd found a fiancé for her, she decided to run away from home. The girl knew her father would send his people to bring her back, so she never stayed in one hotel for more than one night. Once, she found herself in a small town. It was getting dark, and she had no choice but to stop at the first hotel she saw. The receptionist said that her room number was 910 and offered to show her where it was. Liza immediately grabbed her bag, ran out of the hotel, jumped in her car, and speeded away. If you can write in the comments the reason for such a weird reaction, you deserve the title of the true detective. The first digit of a hotel room number usually means the floor it's on. Room 910 is supposed to be on the ninth floor. But look at the hotel. It only has three floors. Young fashion designer Bruno was preparing for his first show. He was a bit anxious, so he took a break to steady his nerves. But when it was time for him to present his collection, no one could find him. In an hour, a security guard saw him in the bathroom, lying on the floor. Someone had hit him on the head. The police had three suspects. Maya, one of the models, said she had had problems with her dress and hadn't even had time to leave the dressing room. Catherine, one of the guests, said that she was Bruno's biggest fan and had been wearing his clothes for years. Apparently, she had no reason to hit him. Sam, the designer's assistant, said he had rushed to the nearest coffee shop to get Bruno an Americano to calm him down. Who is the culprit? Share your ideas in the comments. It was Catherine. That day, it was Bruno's first show. Then how could she be wearing his clothes for years? Richard had a collection of beautiful paintings. One day, while he was away, his favorite one got stolen. The police suspected one of Richard's neighbors. Nicole said she'd been out of town. She returned home just an hour ago and was so tired after a long drive that she immediately went to bed. Dennis said he had been getting ready to paint his house. But since it didn't seem the rain would stop anytime soon, he went to the movies instead. Julie answered that her sister had been feeling unwell. That's why Julie was busy looking after her little nephew. Take that magnifying glass of yours and tell us the truth. Who's guilty? It was Nicole. It had been raining for the whole day. If the woman had returned home just an hour before, the road under her car would be wet. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.